how's it going? Well, the computer parts are going to come in in a couple weeks, and then I have the task of of p- putting it all together. And uh, I'm a little worried about it. Um, my experience in all of this is from, you know, close to 10 years ago. So, you know, my, my current hardware, the, the, my current processor is an i5-2310. You know, it's... It's old, and the things that you used to do to put together machines back then were a lot less stressful than the newer ones, especially, I mean, I kind of went all out on on, uh, what I ordered. I've never had something that's somewhat higher end before, so this is going to be interesting, especially the CPU cooler is ridiculous. It's this huge thing. It'll be nice to have a machine that... Just about anything I want to do, I can do. I certainly won't be having problems, I can't imagine anyway, with OBS at that point anymore. And uh, I did my best to get quiet quiet fans. I, I got a, a uh, power supply that doesn't even have a fan. I, I splurged on that so I can continue to do voiceovers and have it sound right. You know, don't have to do too much uh, noise reduction. Hopefully it'll be about the same volume as what I have now. And it'll be nice to have a machine that I can probably still be using decently and still does what I want eight years from now. But we'll see, right? I want to thank people for telling me to do research when it comes to video games on the PC for Windows. Do some research. Stop making these judgments until you've done the research, and I'm glad that that I was told that, because I did some research. Um, With the processor that I got, um, it comes with, uh, I think it's three free months of uh, Xbox Game Pass. And so I looked at the uh, Game Pass library, uh, did a full list, and tried looking at all the games that look like they're not just the typical... uh, first-person military shooters, and uh, I found a small handful of games that look kind of interesting. And I'll leave links to to videos of them in the description bar. There's uh, Creature in the Well. It's a cross between a pinball game and a dungeon game, top view. Um, The graphics are kind of done in a cel-shaded way. So, uh, it looks sort of graphic novel or cartoon, but still not the bouncy, you know, Pixar type of thing, right? And uh, it looks kind of fun. And I know that there's quite a few more on Steam and, and on other places too. So this, this list that I have here of this, this small list of games that look interesting, you know, could, could be expanded quite a bit if I went into the Steam library, but... Uh, Then there's Lonely Mountains Downhill. It's sort of an off-road BMX type of game that the graphics, I love, it's it's low polygon, so you blatantly see the polygons, but they do a field of view, so things that are in the background are, you know, way in the background are blurry, or things that are way, way too, way... In way close to the camera are blurry, you know. So it, it does the field of view thing. Um, it has it has great effects, great shadows. It, it I just love that method of doing graphics. I think it looks awesome. And the other thing about it is it the game uses realistic physics. You know, you're you're not gonna just you're you're not Superman on that on that BMX bike. You you do you do a fall, yeah. It's you're you're hurt. Time to start over, right? So they expect you to crash a lot. And some of the fun of the game is just in crashing. <laughs> it's in, oh yeah, that's that's realistic crash physics. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I, uh, So it looks hard. It looks like it'll have some frustration to it. Um, but it also looks fun. So then there's My Friend Pedro. It's a game that's way more violent than a game that I than I usually like, but It's a side-scroller type of game, but still 3D. And 
I don't know. It's it's just it's so over the top in in the violence. Uh, it's not necessarily that gory. You you don't see the stuff close up, but they throw a lot of interesting obstacles in your way as you're doing it. Um, and that looks kind of fun. I don't know how for how long it would be fun. Maybe I'd only want to play it for 15 minutes and then I'd be like, eh. So I don't know. I'm not totally sure about that one, but still, it looks like it would be fun for a period of time. Then there's a Hyperdot, and that's an old school type of a concept of a game. You're, you're just this dot. They, they give you these different levels that are in a circle, and all these things will come at you from different sides. Sometimes they'll chase you. Sometimes, uh, eh. Just, just a whole bunch of different obstacles that you have to dodge uh, for a, a time under a timer. And if you're able to stay alive without being hit by one of them, hey, you get to the next level. Some levels have these different things that you need to pick up while you dodge all this stuff. It's a, it's a very basic kind of game, old school kind of game. Um, and uh, that looks fun. That one I could play on my easily play on my current system. Um, on my i5-2310. Um, but that looks kind of cool. I think that one, was that a less expensive one? Or was that still 20? Anyway. Then there's two games. There's the, the one from a few years ago, and then there's the current one. The, the one from a few years ago is Ori and the Blind Forest. And then there's Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's a side-scroller game. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. Almost like tear-in-your-eye tear kind of gorgeous and, and all the artwork that went into those. And some of the physics of the artwork. Beautiful game. Just gorgeous. The only negative side to it is it looks like a hard game. Again, I'll leave, I'll leave links to uh, videos of these games being played in the description bar. Um, gorgeous games. Go beautiful. There's a game called Void Bastards that is some of the best cell shading I've ever seen. Totally looks like a... Uh, totally looks like you're playing a, a comic book. I mean, just... I've never seen a game look like you're playing a 3D comic book more than this game. And they even have, you know, you when you when you shoot someone, it goes blam <laughs> and pow and all that stuff. You know, they 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 take it to extremes. And I don't know how much fun that game would be to play for very long, but it certainly uh, it's certainly neat to look at. Um, then there's this game called Wander Song that the graphics look i don't know what to call the the style of graphics some of some of some elements of it look like a children's drawings um and what you do in the game is a bit different too um there's a uh, spiritual world a regular world you your character sings these songs and you and you you choose what note it is that you sing sings these songs that have that have effects on the environment and i guess the world is ending and your character needs to to be able to sing this song to help stop the end of the world um to put it kind of in a nutshell, and uh, it's it's just a it's just a very different game. Um, and this was the this was the small handful of games that looked interesting to me that I researched from the uh, Xbox the Game Pass library. So I know that there's a hell of a lot more on Steam and a hell of a lot more that are on some other platforms or other ways of being able to get games. So. You know, I'm glad that there was at least a handful of games that looked interesting. Now, again, 
you know, gaming wasn't my primary reason for wanting to upgrade my system, but if I'm going to have a system that's that's capable, I might as well take advantage of it, right? So, anyway, again, thank you for telling me, hey, go do some research. I'm glad I did. Now, these games are not in the same realm as the stuff that's coming out for the Intellivision Amico. Those are still these games that are, that you can sit down and you can play them in one sitting for a short period of time and still enjoy it. I still very much look forward to the Intellivision Amico. But it's nice to know that there are some still some very cool games on the PC. And uh, I'm going to be looking some more. So again, thank you.